Hi, let's solve today's daily challenge that is bag of tokens. So in this question, you are basically uh, given a power, right? So you have some power and your initial score is what? Zero. And you are also given a bag of tokens given as an integer array called tokens. Where token i simply denotes the value of that particular token. Now, what you have to do is see what you are given. You are given the power. You are given a score which is initially zero and you are given some tokens. Now your goal in this question is to maximize the total score by strategically playing these tokens and in one move you can play an unplayed token in one of the two ways right so what is the purpose what do you have to do you have to maximize the total score now how right what you can do you can do some number of moves in order to increase your score now what are those moves so there are two moves that they have given face up and face down so face up means if your current power is at least tokens of i right if your power is like greater than or equal to that particular token value you may play that token right and you will lose tokens i power and gain one score right so let's say you are given a token of let's say 50 and your power is let's say 100 right so if your power is 100 you will check yes the my power current power is more than that token 50 correct so i can use my power right so how much power will be used the power that will be used will be equal to the token value right so that you will use 50 units of your power so you will be remaining with 50 units and also what will happen is you will gain one score and the second move is that you can do face down you can play face down so if you play face down if your current score is at least one right you must have some score you may play a token and gain that token of i power and lose one score right so what are we doing there are two things two moves that we can do right either we can reduce our power and increase our score and either we can decrease our score and increase our power now doing these two moves you have to return the maximum possible score you can achieve after playing any number of tokens right so let us see what the question is right so there are two moves that you can do what are these moves you can either play face up or you can play face down when you will play face up you will increase your score by one and decrease your power by token right power will be decreased then if you play face down your score will reduce by one so here it is getting reduced by one plus one minus one right so score is only incremented by one or decremented by one but your power is being incremented or decremented by tokens of i right that particular token value now doing these moves what you have to tell is the max score that you can get right you have to maximize this score right let us see uh, what what we can do let's say we are given this tokens array right now what i will do is let's say i am given this power correct and i want to get some score so score is incremented when you reduce your power and when you decrement your score you reduce your power oh sorry you increase your power correct now let us try to do this right we have some power which is 200 so with this 200 power either i can buy this 100 right also another thing that you can only use an unplayed token that means if i have used this 100 right let's say i use this 100 so my power will reduce by 100 right 200 minus 100 is 100 and score will get increased by one so initially it's zero so my score will become one now i cannot use this token again right so that is what they have mentioned if you have used one token you cannot use it again now your power is 100 right and uh, you also have some score so they have mentioned you can either play face up so initially we did what we played face up but because we want to maximize the score what we have to do we have to now increase our power so that we can again spend it right so you have 100 here right your power so let's say you take this 200 and add it to your power so if you add it you will get what 300 and your score will now become zero so you've used this you've used this token now with this 300 you can go and 
get this token right so what you will do is you will play face up get this token so that means your power will be reduced to 300 minus 300 0 and your score will be incremented by 1 correct now as our power is what 0 and if even if we add it right there is no purpose of like now decreasing the score because you cannot do anything now so that means i will simply um, return this score but is it maximum it's not maximum right okay so what can we do how can we you know play strategically like if you see here right if you try to simply work out you can already see here that okay what we'll do is we will first take this power use this power 100 and if let's say now my score is one right if i want to like decrement my score i will make sure that i increase my power as much as i can right so that means add the largest value of the array correct so now you have 400 so you'll add 400 to your power so when you use this 100 your power is reduced to 100 correct now if you add 400 to it now you have power of 500 so now you can utilize and also your score got decremented by zero because you have to use this score to increase your power now you can go and take this token take this token and increase your score to two which is the maximum that you can get so i hope you kind of understood the question what we have to do right either play face up or face down and what we have to do maximize the scores for this particular test case the answer is going to be what two now coming to how do we have to solve this question right so you might think that okay if i am standing at a particular token right i have two choices etc right and you might turn into dp you, you might start writing dp well that solution would work but it's like easier to implement and but we can do better right so so we will not use dp right so if you are not using dp what else can you use so that means we need to know if this is a greedy problem or not right so let's see so the dp approach is quite clear right it's it's just that at each and every node what you have you have a choice either to play face up or face down and you know and then like keep doing it among all these choices try to figure out the maximum score that you can get right now if you can observe one thing here is that see what we want to do is if we are playing let's say face up right we are increasing our score by one and if we are playing face down we are decrementing our score by minus one so we don't actually care about the token value here right we do not care about the token value so if we do not care about the token value which means i can take any token right any token is fine and i can you know either play face up or face down so what i will try to do is because if i want to increment my score right and see power is decrementing by tokens of five right but score is only increasing by one and scores maximum value you have to return so for a score it doesn't matter which token we use but for power it matters which token we use so what we will do is whenever we are trying to you know play face up right so i know my score will definitely be incremented by one but my power will decrement by the token value so what i will do is i will take the least value token the smallest value token right so in this case it was 100 right so i'll take that and increase my score so that my power because i need to use this power for the rest of the tokens also right in order to increase the score that is the only way reduce your power increase your score so you will try to take the smallest element and you will reduce as small as um you can right for the power so that is it score will increment by one and power will be reduced by the smallest element of the array now whenever you are playing face down now let's say you don't have enough power right you don't have enough power if you don't have enough power you will see if your score value is there right if your score is greater than one one right or equal to one if you have some score value then again it doesn't matter which token you use to use right but your score will be decremented if you want to increase your power right so what you will try to do is in order to increase power i will try to take the maximum token value 
right i will try to take the maximum token value so if i take the maximum token value my power will be increased the most in that case otherwise it will be you know there is still scope for the power to increase if i take any other value but if you take the largest value you are doing the best possible thing correct so these two things are important to notice and to know that this is nothing but a greedy problem right okay so we have figured out it is a greedy problem right now we have also figured out that if we are playing face up right we are incrementing our score but we will in decrement our power by, with the smallest element of the token array right so power in face up decrement power by using the smallest element right and for face down increment power by using it's like increase and uh, it's decrease okay by using the largest token value right so that is it. that is all that we have to do now if i try to apply this approach here right to this right so what i'm saying we have 100 200 300 and 400 correct and power is what initially it's 200 so what i'll do i'll see i want to increase the score right so if i have power i will try to you know use that power correct so what i'll do is i will check with the smallest element with the smallest element can i you know decrement uh, decrease the power and increase the score so yes it's possible so what i'll do i'll decrease the power and let me write a score here the score was initially 0 it will be increased to 1 now i will check the second value smallest value right see if i want to increase my score so definitely why would i you know uh, go with this option right but i have to go with this option only when i have to i do not have enough power if i already have enough power why do i go and you know uh, decrease my score right so we will keep checking so the first condition you have to check can you play face up if you can play face up please play face up because in that case only you are increasing your score right so then 200 now your power is less so what you'll do is you'll try to increase power but as much as you can so how can you do that add the largest power right add the largest value token to the power and decrement your score so your score will now become 0 and your power will now become 500 all right now again check can you play face up yes you can play face up here with the smallest value so reduce the smallest value increase your score you will get 300 can you play face up yes you can play face up so increment your score and decrease your power now by the end of all this you have already consumed all the tokens right all the token values so that means now among all these iterations right please keep track of the score that you have okay because you can choose to not play also all right so you have 0 0 1 so maximum is 2 so you'll return 2 from here all right now what if you cannot play face up or face down right let's say let's change this array to 200 300 and let's say we take um a 600 uh, no not 600 okay let's take another 300 right and 400 we have this array now let's try to again you know do the same so let me write power here power is let's say initially it's 200 only the score is initially 0 so what we'll do power is more right so we'll play face up so it will increase by 1 power will be reduced by 100 then check this value it's not right so we cannot use it then increase your power so you'll increase your power to 500 and you will decrease your score to 0 then the next element yes you can you know play face up so increase your power and it will be down 200 now look at this it is 300 so you cannot play face up 
nor can you add this power and use it in further iteration because you already used this token use this token use this token use this token so now you cannot do absolutely anything so in this case your answer is going to be one only all right so that is what you have to return because now you cannot take the power or reduce the score to get the maximum value so you'll simply break right you'll simply break out of the iterations right because now it's not possible and you will simply return your score right the maximum out of these all so i hope now it's clear to you so what we have to do to apply this greedy solution is first things first sort the array now how sorting the array will help us sorting the array will help us to take the smallest as well as the largest value so in that case what we can do is we can take two pointers right because we are either dealing with the smallest value or the largest value so by sorting i definitely know the value that's from the starting will be the smallest and the value that is in the last of the array will be the uh, largest right and also because we cannot use that particular token again so we have to simply you know if i've used this already i have to simply move here so you can already see that i have to have one of the pointers here and other of the pointers here and if i'm playing face up i will increase this pointer and move on to the next smallest element and if i am doing uh, if i am playing face down i will move on to the next element right next um smaller than the largest element right or the second largest element right so this is that what uh, this is what we have to do right so what we'll do we will be having a while loop and there will be having i less than equal to j now inside of that while loop i will play face down uh sorry face up right when can i play face up if my power is greater than the smallest value greater than or equal to the smallest value of the array so that i will i will get from the ith pointer because ith pointer will be here jth pointer will be pointing to the largest element so power is greater than the tokens array's ith element if it is i will play face down oh sorry face up correct so i'll increment my score and also increment this i plus plus move on to the next element and reduce my power with this tokens of i right now let's say you are not able to like you do not have enough power in that case you have to put an else if condition that if you have a score right if you have some score value right if it is less uh, greater than 0 or greater than equal to 1 right if you have some score value then you can play face down so in that case you will decrement your score and you will increase your power by the largest element so that will be um your tokens of jth element and then what we, you will do uh, simply decrement this jth pointer to move on to the next largest element all right so this is all that you have to do now in case you are not able to play face up or face down you have to simply break out this iteration because you now don't have any option right so there's no way that you will be able to increase your score so that is it you also please keep track of a maximum variable so inside of maximum store the maximum of let's say this is score and take an answer variable initialize it to 0 and answer comma score and in the end please return this answer because in all the you know um while you are playing right you have to keep track of the maximum score that you can get correct so that is it uh, for this question so now let us discuss about the time complexity so time complexity is going to be big o of n log n right so n log n because of sorting and this is only one iteration right so this is big o of n and n log n plus n which is basically going to be n log n and space complexity is going to be big o of 1 because we are not using any extra space here right so that is it now let's quickly go ahead and see the code so see first step is to sort the tokens array right then take this score and answer so score is going to calculate like it will be incremented decremented according to what move you are doing face up or face down and answer is going to store the maximum score that you can achieve while doing face up and face down right so it might be possible that by the end right you don't get the score as the maximum value right so you may get 
in between some iterations but because of uh, strategically playing right you might you know decrement your score from the maximum value so by the end of this whole iteration right you this is a possibility that you might not get the maximum score so you need to return the maximum score right let's say you reach the maximum score you can choose not to do anything correct so because it is already mentioned here you can play any number of tokens so it is up to you what tokens you want to play even if you don't want to play it's all right but you have to return the maximum score so for that keep a track of the maximum score that you can get while performing all these iterations then take the size obviously then take two pointers first pointer will be pointing to the smallest element of the array and the uh, uh, j pointer will be pointing to the largest element of the array then simply iterate while i is less than equal to j and check if you can see because score can be you want maximum score so score should be incremented right if you want it to um, maximize so for that you have to check if you can play face up so if you can play face up well and good uh, reduce the power increase the score and also um, make sure that you point to the next smallest element then let's say you are not able to play face up that means you have to play face down now so for face down the condition is your score must be at least one right so if you have some score play face down that is increase your power by tokens of j and also decrement your largest element pointer right to point to the next largest element and also decrement your score now if you are not able to play either face up or face down that means you cannot do absolutely anything now so simply break out of this loop and also please keep track of the maximum score that you can get okay so in some of the iterations as i said it's possible that you might get some score you might get a maximum score but because you are repeatedly performing face up face down until i is less than equal to j right you need to keep track of the maximum score if you reach it in between these iterations because you can play any number of tokens it's up to you to play a token or not play a token and then simply return your answer in which you will be storing the maximum score that you will get while you are performing face up and face down so that is it that's how you have to solve this question